I'm here today because uh, the Time Team programme ran last week and uh, lots of people have asked me, what's your feeling, Nick? Uh, you know, you were do you've got the, um, the story of the Crowhurst Battlefield site, the one that English Heritage uh, really had the trouble with. Why didn't they mention it in the programme? Um, well, I, I really can't answer that because that's, that's up to, uh, to them. But I'm here really to explain why this, this site here, um, the roundabout, really doesn't make any sense at all. I don't think it makes any sense for me, uh, and I don't think it makes any sense for those people who've, who've done the work, they've read all the history books. First of all, um, in all the documents, it tells you it was a steep hill. Now, I mean, you can see here, we all know the road to battle. It's not a steep hill, it's a gentle slope. Um, they say it was confined. The battlefield was confined. There again, this is not confined here if you take away all the buildings. Um, the, the Norman cavalry could have just gone around the corner where, they, where they've always gone across Battle Abbey slopes. So this is, this is a nonsense. There's no archaeology here. Every single bit of this road has been dug up over the last 200 years and not a shred of evidence. So I think we've really got to take the Time Team story with a pinch of salt. What we do have to do is look at the documents. And I think English Heritage are getting the message. It's coming through slowly. They've really got to look at what was said at the time and, and where is the archaeology? We're getting all sorts of stories from English Heritage at the moment that, um, well, maybe there's, we looked in the wrong place. Maybe we have to look more. I absolutely agree with that. Let's get, the, let's get those archaeologists back on that battlefield. Let's do a completely thorough job so we prove to ourselves absolutely conclusively there is nothing at the site of Battle Abbey that proves that the Battle of Hastings took place here. How do I know that? Because I've read all the documents, as have a lot of other historians. They tend to be miles away in places like Cambridge. When you read those documents, what do you find? You find in the Chronicle of Battle Abbey, um, there's a huge um, scar in the landscape that runs through the battle site where a lot of Normans died. None here, right? Though it's called the Malfoss. So what happened in the Malfoss is recorded in a number of different documents, so we know it was there. Not only that, Waste tells us there was a ditch down the, the side of one side of the battlefield. No ditch at Battle Abbey. We're told, Waste tells us, there were enclosures on the battlefield, meaning that they dug some sort of defence in this confined position. The reason the battlefield lasted all day. And do we find it at Battle Abbey? No. Where do we find it? In Crowhurst. But there's one defining document. The Chronicle of Battle Abbey tells the story of where the king, um, in about 1180, finds out that the abbey isn't paying any tax. So he thinks, well, this is a bit of a nonsense. Send the guys down to investigate. They come down here, and the abbot, realizing that the game's up, has to produce a document. It's called the Chronicle of Battle Abbey, and it tells us the whole story of the Battle of Hastings. The first 22 pages in one hand tells of all of the detail that they knew to be what they believed to be correct. And then the, 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 from there on, the remainder of the document is about the administration of the estate. Except they were in trouble because they had no document that they could rely on, so they had to insert some information into that document. And every time they inserted it, they said, uh, it's tradition that this happened, and it's tradition that that happened. Um, like when, I was, when uh, William was getting into his um, armour on the day of the battle at the port of Hastings, um, he, um, he decided to give his oath, on this battlefield I will build a monastery for the salvation of all. Um, oh, and by the way, I'll also make it free of wine and taxes uh, for the monks. And you have to think, -hoo -hoo -hoo. I'm not sure that William would have been thinking of the monks being free of wine and taxes. So it's really very easy to, to identify those, those elements that were inserted into the original documentation. They simply started with the, the process of saying, um, it's tradition. Why? Because a neatly drafted document that proved that no one was responsible, because it was tradition. But when you take that document, you find there's some key information there. It says they started to build the abbey 
down on the battlefield. But six months, six years later, a monk called Smith, of all names, comes from Marmortier in France and decides this isn't a good place for such a fine building. I'm going to move it. Um, and he moved it not far off. It also tells us that um, the, the location was low down on the west side of the ridge. Now, we all know where the ridge is. These historians, they've got no idea where the ridge is. They just think it's any old ridge low down on the west side of the ridge at a place called Hurst. Hurst? What's the old Saxon name for Crowhurst? Hurst. Hurst. Easy a mistake for a Norman to make. And where else is it in Hurst? It's next to a low stone wall. I'm going to take you to that low stone wall. So here we are in Crowhurst, next to the low stone wall, uh, next to the church, with the yew tree next to it. Now we know this stone wall has been here for a thousand years because the yew tree uh, roots are bound into it. So the yew tree and the stone wall had to exist. And what have we got next to it? Exactly what it says in the Chronicle of Battle Abbey. The original foundations of Battle Abbey. Um, how do we know that it's um, Battle Abbey? Well, we did a resistivity survey. My group, about 50 people in May, um, we did the area from those gateposts there to that gatepost there and absolutely amazingly the whole of this field is rubble and foundations of some building, a huge building from the past that's been lost and hidden. Everybody in Crowhurst knows this hill, didn't know that there was a, a building underneath it. Now if you're telling me this isn't the site of the original Chronicle of Battle Abbey building where it says it was moved from the battlefield then I'm a Chinaman.